Juju, where, where is he at now compared to last year when he was just getting speed on? Man, but you know, Juju had a really good fall camp, man. Really good fall camp after yeah. just getting his feet yeah. wet. And now I think the biggest difference is he's 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 gained weight. He's 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 holding his body. He's holding his body weight up to a, to another little threshold. Still haven't got to my ward done weight yet, but he's, <laughs> yeah. he's gaining weight. I mean, Pound for Pound, he's one of the strongest guys on our team. I knew that coming to high school, he was a weight he was a weightlifter in high school. But now we actually have all the measurements, have everything he does, and and that's one thing that makes him special, man. He's I mean, he's one of the strongest backs in the SEC, one of the strongest players on our team. Uh, I think what they got challenged him with is just the weight and then being durable throughout this camp. And I think he, I mean, I think he's the sky's the limit, man. This, this, this guy is electric with the ball in his hand. He's a very small football player. You can tell him, I can draw a play right here in the sand and tell him to do it, and he'll go do it like he's like he's repped it and seen it on film and went through it. So, I mean, he's that type of football player. You tell him what to do, he can do it. He sees the game. He, he has a really good feel for it. And it, it's, hard, it's hard to make that. It's hard to hit him in space, so the first guy's gonna always he's gonna make that guy miss, yeah. and then he has more speed than what you think. He has that sneaky speed, because like once once he get once you get side by side with him, he's probably gonna leave. You. So. <laughs> yeah, appreciate it. Yes, sir. How are you? Yeah, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Everything going good? Ready for tomorrow? Ready for tomorrow. How does it feel like going into tomorrow compared to how you felt last year? Anything different? Um, a little. Well, so the same feeling is just like right before training camp as a coach. And as a player, I always got that little nervous energy feel, so I still got that. But now we just I just kind of know a little bit more of the team. We know a little, as the offense, we know how those things are going to go together a little bit. We kind of got a foundation set already as a team. Our guys know what to expect from us. We know what to expect from them. So I just think the leadership on our team has grown in that aspect. So there's still some things that you want to see. Like I want to see how this guy do it. But I just think as a team, we're all headed towards the right direction, and we got a foundation built on this year. And your group specifically has developed, obviously, since last year, another year under everybody's belt, specifically with Marshawn. What have you seen out of him this summer, another year removed from that ACL surgery? How have you seen his confidence kind of build? Yeah, um, I mean, he had a great winter, uh, really good spring. And, you know, throughout the summer, he's kind of taken that leadership role on as being uh, one of the leaders with, within the running back room, but also within the offensive unit. So, uh, and then just seeing him getting back to doing his things where, you know, all his 5 10 5 is back really good. You know, just seeing him running around, running his 40, seeing him in the weight room, seeing him being available for everything, uh, you know, seeing him do extra every day with him and Spence catch, throwing the catching balls. So, you know, just those things that I see him doing, I think I think he's ready to go. So he's, he's taking that step forward. He's kind of becoming a leader amongst the offensive team and definitely in the running back room. You talk about Juju a lot and what he does on the field, but I think we also talk about him off the field and how he's kind of a spark plug for this team. He's got a big old personality. So, how have you seen. The way that he is as a person, his personality affect this team. Well, always, um, I said doing, you know, he had like a week, a week and a half. I think he missed two practices, but then when he came back one with like a non-contact jersey on, our offense feels totally different when Juju's not out there. You know, just the the spark they bring to practice. Uh, there's never there that practice with Juju, so. He's getting the energy out of other guys. He's one of the most positive teammates on the team. He's always uplifting guys, always talking. So I just think he brings that juice himself, but it's like contagious amongst everybody else. So that's the biggest thing about him. He's that energy starter, and then he can really, really play. So it's, it's kind of crazy when you see a guy that's kind of that small running around playing how he plays. I mean, that, that gives light to everybody else. So. A couple new 